way to wake up. Stop me. I had something very important to smell. Uh, good morning or evening. Um, this is the internet, so I don't know when you're watching this. Dude, what are you doing? There's nothing over there. There's literally nothing over there. Come on, bud. Uh, <laughs> so. These mornings when I don't have either an early start day or I'm off and mom works, we walk downtown, or closer to where mom works anyway, uh, to go pick her up and walk her home. He is starting to learn this, so he starts pulling a little bit. And, uh, well, I can keep up. But he knows we're gonna go see mom, so he's very excited. And I'm just still sleepy. But, you got a good day planned. All right, now you found a, an alley. And he's gonna go smell everything. Um, but I got a pretty nice day planned. I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna go help out a friend, start her YouTube channel. It's actually a pretty nice show. Um, going to be talking with her and another buddy of mine about insulin, something I know a little bit about. <laughs> Dude, you can't stop and sniff literally everything. Hold on. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to do some other work too. I have a presentation to give on Monday. I have a little, uh, little homework I got to do. Um, for something else this week. But hopefully it's a nice and chill day. It's been a busy day at work. Um, you know, this past week and the week before I took my step three exams. So that was fun. It's gonna be interesting finding things to fill the void of practice tests and questions and cases. Um, but I'm grateful, at least for now. It's no longer studying, but Without further ado, time to go find mom. All right, why are you? Dog owners know exactly what that is. I don't have to explain myself. Okay, bye. <laughs> Just want to point something out. This is Michigan Avenue. I'm used to this being packed with people and it still blows my mind, you know, seven months after the big part of COVID started to hit that it's empty. I mean, I know it's seven o'clock on a Saturday morning, <laughs> but you know, mid-October, it's still usually packed, but all right. We're almost at mom's. Come on, bud. Come on, dude. Dude. And again, he chooses the wrong side of my body. Walk. So again, dog owners. Whoop. Now we're good. Okay. It's hard to find mom. Bruin, relax. Good boy, bro. Good boy, bro. Oh, let's go home. Okay, let's go home. So I don't know if this audio is being recorded on my phone or my AirPods, but hopefully you can hear me okay. It's kind of windy. Um, I wanted to take a minute as I walked to the gym to talk about masks at the gym. Um, I know there's been tons of studies that show you put masks on, your oxygen saturation doesn't drop. What I'm more interested in is when I'm just a sweaty bag of mess and all of the sweat goes onto my mask, does that have anything to do with it? Um, 
I suppose I could go buy a ball socks, but yeah, whatever. It would be interesting. I do feel like, and I, of course, I don't feel like I'm going to die or anything. And you know, if you're inside around people, please wear a mask. Um, <laughs> but it certainly feels different when the mask is soaking wet. <laughs> all right, time to go lift all the things. How are we doing? Doss more. <laughs> are we tired yet? <laughs> I think we're tired. Are we tired? Warm up. <laughs> White red Irish ass, we've been crushing it for an hour and 45 minutes. Time to eat. It's time to eat. <laughs> Holy crap. Brad what, Brad, what do we do today? Band squats, front half squats, leg press, leg curl, sleds. Calves. We're out of shape. <laughs> We're getting there though. <laughs> Kevin's dead. <sighs> no, he's breathing. We're good. <laughs> Holy crap. Thank God I can rest my forearm on my knee so I don't have to hold up the phone. <sighs> so I realized um, this video is in 4K. Womp womp. <laughs> um, I guess it'll make my, I don't know, transition to computer to edit to, <clears throat> to YouTube a little bit easier. Um, but I'm about to hop on that interview I was telling you about earlier. But first, a funny story. Um, so as many of you know, I'm a type 1 diabetic. And type 1 diabetics need to take insulin, usually from injections. <sighs> Kevin, one of my workout partners this morning, was not aware that I am a type 1 diabetic. So when I pulled out my insulin pen in front of him, this one, and it just started shooting up because my blood sugar was a little high. Uh, you can imagine the size of his eyes. <laughs> but um, we had a good laugh about it. He thought I was shooting up steroids and um, or Tren or whatever they're called these days. Um, but regardless, um, I got a good laugh out of it and he got a good moment of terror. So that was fun. I told him if I was on steroids, I'd be a lot bigger. And if I was a doctor on steroids, I probably would be, well, I don't know, probably stupider. I don't know. I, I would never. I know that stuff does to your body. So anyway, that's my, that's my funny story. Yeah, the, the, the terror on his face and just the look of absolute aghast. It was great. It's a lot of fun. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm gonna hop, about to hop on this interview. Um, uh, yeah, the afternoon got away from me because I was sitting and doing nothing, so. Because I'm tired, and you can, oh my god. What color is my face? I'm still very warm, okay. All right, enough rambling, gotta go, bye. So I, uh, I know this is usually my end of night position, but um, I'm tired. <laughs> and I'm gonna do my best to not fall asleep before it's actually the time. Ugh! just got off me. Uh, and he knocked my AirPods off the ground. Awesome. Or on the ground, off the table. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a great, uh, great talk with Anna and Christian. Um, Anna is gathering a bunch of healthcare people to talk about various things healthcare. Um, and then Christian uh, is a nurse that lives about uh, an hour and a half, two hours away from me. And he works in an ICU setting, also uh, diabetic, uh, but we both have very different stories to how we became uh, insulin dependent or uh, insulin de dependent or type one diabetics. Um, I was diagnosed when I was six. He was diagnosed when he was 27, I think. Um, yeah, totally different. Um, to be completely fair, I think his is worse because he had 27 odd years of doing his own thing until he had to change um, almost everything, frankly. Um, you know, I was six, I'm 32 now. It's been 26 years that I've just been doing this, you know? I would hazard a guess that I've been diabetic a lot longer than some of you people have been alive, and that's okay. 
Um, it's just, it is, it is what it is and it, it, it is part of who I am, but I certainly don't make it define me. Um, but I'm really excited for Anna's show. Um, I think, you know, she's a, she's a great person. She loves, you know, interacting with people. She can talk to anybody about anything and she's a wonderful personality. Um, she's got a great family. Uh, actually her husband is out fighting some fires in, um, in California. So we, um, we hope he's safe. We hope for the best for them. Um, he's been back and forth doing that. Um, but may God have mercy on her soul because her two young sons are home just with her. And um, virtual classrooms are hard on mom, apparently. So, Anna, best of luck. <sighs> All right, a little bit more work to do. And then, um, yeah, probably gonna call it a night pretty early. Definitely gonna call it a night pretty early. All right, it's about uh, seven o'clock. Uh, Kiri just left for work not too long ago. Well, I guess about half an hour ago. Um, you know, on days she works a lot of nights in a row, or I guess more than one, I suppose. Um, she usually sleeps till about five o'clock before she has to go to work again around 6.30. Uh, so it doesn't give us a lot of time to, to see each other. Um, so during that hour and a half, um, it is with her and, you know, there are some things that are more important than YouTube. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, that's really all I got. Um, I'm now at my desk, obviously, and, uh, still have my house horse hanging out behind me. Um, but I have actually some work I have to do. Um, I'm giving a presentation, uh, Monday. I don't know when this video is going up, so probably 
you know, the, the day after or the day of this video gets released. Hopefully, anyway, if I have any semblance of time management. Um, I'm doing a presentation. I will do my best to show you uh, largely what it's about um, when it's done-ish. Um, this is a, on a case that I wrote up a while ago. And I think it's, I thought it was cool, so it was a nice presentation to give. But then, another hour, hour and a half, I'm gonna, yeah, take Bruin out, brush my teeth, and go to bed. Because I am very tired. Um, I find that days off are really nice in that you don't have the 20 patients, you don't have the 20 notes and all the pages and this and that and everything else. Um, but I also don't feel comfortable just sitting around doing nothing. So I find that work, even if it's other work, is necessary. So th these kinds of things, you know, I enjoy doing. So it doesn't really feel like work, but it's still work. So, all right, I'm gonna get to work um, and then I will show you what I've done, and then I'm going to go to bed. Alright, it is uh, about 8.45, and I'm tired. <laughs> um, I ended up actually getting some work done, and I am going to show you a little bit of what I did. So, I have a talk to give through Zoom to my uh, residency program, but really, anything I choose. Um, I'm big into cardiac imaging, so I chose the case of a young lady who, um, yeah, who passed out a lot, and we couldn't figure out why until she had some advanced cardiac imaging done. Fancy. Um, she had a coronary CT after a long, long, long list of other tests. Um, coronary CT um, is a, essentially a CT scan looking at specifically the arteries of the heart. Um, I will show you one of my slides. I made these uh, images. I am very proud of these images. I think they're beautiful, but here they are. And ta-da, aren't they pretty? So you can see that here we have the left anterior descending. This is the quote unquote widow maker, if you're uh, familiar with that. This would be the left circumflex, and usually there's a uh, right coronary artery coming from a different place, but here, halfway down the LAD, here's her right coronary artery. So, essentially, she didn't get enough blood flow to one area of her right ventricle, which caused her to pass out, as far as we know, um, because the rest of the workup was negative. Um, but yeah, got a huge part of that done so I'm super happy about that and with that I'm going to take Bruin to pee I'm going to brush my teeth and then I'm gonna go to bed um, so yeah that was an off day for me um, I spent a lot of it laying down um, <laughs> because I was tired um, you know you the third year residency starts catching up and you get tired at least I do um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed watching some or all of this video. Um, I will do my best to continue making these, um, time permitting. Like I say all the time, you know, it's a one man show here. Um, I don't have an editor, I don't have a, anything. Um, you know, I learned how to use the editing software by myself. I do all, obviously I'm just like holding my phone right now. I do all of the shooting by myself. Um, I look weird talking to a phone if I'm walking down the street. And, uh, yeah. So, you know, one of these days, maybe this channel will be big enough to do something with. Who knows? But for now, it's fun. So, have a terrific rest of your day, evening, whenever you may be watching this. I appreciate every single view I get. Um, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you aren't already, please do subscribe. And hit that little bell so you know when I am uh, posting new stuff. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and uh, be nice to each other. Peace.